Hey guys, welcome back to the Warhammer Tacticals and in today's video we're going to play the Path of Phoenix with the Jainzar. So I wasn't able to, to record yesterday's material so I just played the 6th battle with the requirement uh, with the Necron faction and I completed but it was kinda tough. I also completed I guess the battle number 8 from Beta and from Gamma battle number 10 and yes and i tried to complete battle number 10 but i was not able to do it um, so we have time right now to play two battles so let's go for the alpha sector as always we start with the alpha sector and try to fill up some some of the requirements <clears throat> okay let's see Okay. So it seems that this this should be I will of course ma make the 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 summons this will be like must have but Okay, come on, make an overkill. Yeah. Well, the reverse is kind of a very good solution for this for this for this uh, mode <clears throat> because he can clear up easily all the way alone. Twenty-four enemies left to, to destroy, and we are, we are uh, I would say, very decent right now. Okay. Okay. So another requirement is 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 been obtained, but we we can try to make one more one more requirement. Um. I think it will be this will be fine. Maybe I 
I'm wondering if, if the Anupet will be better than that not Vlogger, but I I don't think so, but maybe. Okay, let's do it. To be honest, we could be protecting ourselves here because then, then the wires would, would be working, but... Okay, we, we are still fine. And this is why I, I like Anupet. Uh, I was grinding him for a very long time. His units will will right now cover our back very very hard. So this guy has, yeah, the Nexion Warrior is way more stronger than the Scarfman. Okay, so for now this is this is this is all what, which I wanted to play right now, and within seven eight hours we'll play all the twelve tickets and then I'll make an upload. So we'll make a single cut for you right now, guys.
Okay guys, so we are back and you can see already the difference in my voice, so it, it, it means that it's, it's, it's good. So what can we do? We can do actually the requirement of the battle number 7 to make no summons from the alpha sector. So let's do it, let's try do it, uh, let's try doing it, whatever. I think I already tried this uh, to, do it, to do this today, but I think I failed. Mm. So if we cannot make summons, we have to resign from the rivers, and yeah. So this is the best what we can what we can make right now. So the plan is to keep uh, keep the in front like one the strongest mechanical unit. Um, the good part is that the uh, Makotep and Snapreka has longer range uh, of attacks, so they should cooperate very, very well. And I think we can we can easily go back slightly to the to the defense. So I would even try like like this. Yeah, we, we want them to come to us. So we want a Snapreka to come here. Yeah, let's let's do something like this. So so since we can uh, keep uh, repairing our units, it will it should be fine. This is very good what we wanted to have. Um, Okay, let's, let's fix the Aleph now. Okay, let's, let's keep them busy. Yeah, they, they will more, more, most likely go to, the, to, to this side and they will try to take down my units, so... Okay, 23 units left to be killed and I think it's, it's very possible for us to do it if we play like this, if we keep, if we stay like this. Okay. Uh oh. And if we manage to do not lose any of these units, it means that we can try the another another battle to fill up this requirement as well. I okay, have to just keep the battery on. Okay, so we can go back to the path of the Phoenix, and now we can try to play this one, this fight, only with the Necron units. I know. Uh, this this requirement was not showed up before, I, I guess. Uh, okay, it might be difficult. It might be difficult, but let's see if it's going to work.
okay. I think we're gonna we'll we will make the same trick which we did last time. So we want to go back with the with the main characters. Okay. You can see how vulnerable the. Omnipet is right now in my, in my roster. He's bronze one, so he's uh, slightly too weak to this level. Okay, so after this turn we can launch the Necron Warriors. The 31 enemies to be killed by the only Alepno might be uh, slightly too much. Okay, let's fix ourselves and let's see if uh, we can fix more than we lose. So, luckily, yes. So maybe we can beat this level. So we won the region and we won the fight. And this is how it goes. So now we skip. It will take some time, but if we can do this, it's it's worth. Okay, let's take down the Bellators. Oh, okay. So we need to take down this, the, the, they are eliminators, whatever, yeah, they are, it's like Sirtis.
I just need to get free slot on these guys and we'll rush them immediately. I just over pushed a little, so we have to regen right now. Bye bye to the one eliminator. So I'm kind of surprised how powerful Alepnol can be, and but this is the this is the reason why I will probably do not reset this guy, even if uh, it will cost me wait more time for the rivas. I just like Alepnol, even if he's strongly nerfed. Uh, I still like this character, and you can see basically how powerful is he right now. So it was worth 110 points. And what can we do else? Uh, we have the object objective to the melee attacks and so before we go ahead we can try this one more requirement and then we'll try to go to the beta sector because I will not use 12 entrances for one level for one sector. So we can clear up this and we can try to use our units here but I think it's... Uh, I think it's just I don't I don't think we will be able to ma to manage to complete this mission. So okay, we'll just ultra extremely skip this one. And I make a single cut because uh, there was no point of playing this if uh, the Markatep no uh, the Gulgas was the strongest uh, or no Markatep was the the one guy who was the strongest here. I don't think it was uh, it was it had a point to play like this. So right now we can do this, we can go ahead with our units and just enjoy how the best units can handle this rush. And the reverse is crazy character actually. Okay, so we can just skip this fight because we didn't obtain anything new here. But we are going to the beta sector and we'll try to fill up some quests with the beta sector. So let's do it. 
there was noble, uh, we cannot make summons. So what can we do? Uh, we can take the Yarik and we will get it definitely good. Okay, so I will take these two scores. Why not? We took the two objectives. Uh, very nice. So here the best way to win is to make them come to us and play safe. Like, uh, yeah, Astartes banner, this unit has battle phase, it ignores it. Okay, so this this is very nice. Astartes banner, very nice buff. Actually, let's, let's use this ability because uh, it will just increase our time of survival. Okay. I'm not using the Yarik spawn since it's pointless until uh, until some of my units die. So, and the guardsmen are actually actually more powerful than my units here. So this is the reason why I, I skip doing that. And this is high time to use the Yarik abilities to summon guardsmen and we will block actually we will block the access to them by our units so the guardsmen will not die in the first place. I think I, I might summon them just in time. I need them to, to not die and attack all of them like three times each. And this was enough. Very nice, so we can go ahead and play this turn one more time with other units. So let's try to beta sector one more time. And because we have still objective to kill 75 units of, of Black Legion, so we can try to use the Bolter requirement. And actually the Bolter requirement is cool, because we can use Isabella, but right now she's not strong enough and she will be useless. But uh, maybe I will boost her during this, this event. So we again wait for them to kill all of our units. And right now we also have Blatters, so... Yeah. Okay. Morwen is also an underestimated character, but it's it's insane that she's only available from the from the requisition drops, and I was lucky enough to get her in the when again the game was starting. Oh, 
Uh oh. So I just made mistake. Uh, that's fine. This roster is more powerful than, than the previous one, so we kill two. Kill this guy, we kill this guy, and we can try to kill this guy, but okay, we'll not try to kill them. So Morwen is most likely dead, but she did her job. She just killed, killed like 15 enemies. It's more than enough. Okay, this didn't work. So even Black Templars are useful right now in my roster because I spent some some uh, resources to upgrade them. So this is nice that it starts to look like with every month. It starts to look that uh, look that you have character for every occasion. Stronger, weaker, but still you, you have it. Uh, so we have to try check the missions which we have. Okay. So we can defeat the orcs. Now let's unlock another 10 shards of the character and we are missing only 20 shards left. Okay. okay so we just made some, some uh, objectives. We can watch adver advertisement, I do realize that. But before we do, we'll go for the battle number 7 and try to make two more requirements for today. And then we switch to the orcs. Okay, so we have to clear it, and so again we have some some uh, some sort of good roster. So unless we can use Yarik, it this this part should be definitely fine. So one character died and these two dies and yes, we'll be able to use another um, ability. But for now we just go back and we play safe. So there is no point for us to rush them. I don't know when, why the Morven pre prefers to attack in melee instead of range attack when she's 100% sure of sure kill. Okay. 10 kills with one ability. I think it's a record. Maybe Typhus can, could beat that, but uh, his AoE damage is not that powerful, so he can do this on lower levels. Okay, Morven died, and maybe uh, I already used the unit which has summon, so we have to use it anyway. So we got 98 points. We are missing like 900 points to to get to unlock the new character, so we can go for the battle number six. Oh, I just made two battles, right? I I made both at the same time. Okay, so right now, uh, or, or what? I don't know. Okay, I did this objective, so I have to go like for this one. Yeah. So we have to remove the Celestine, and we have to put this guy for this moment. Okay. 
Now let's try it. Okay, we can do this if the overkilling demons will make the Imperial Guardsmen flee because otherwise the, the Yarik will be not able to kill 23 enemies. Okay, so Morwen does a, a, a huge DPS to the enemies. Okay, so there is like 10 more enemies coming and we have two characters left. Okay, maybe. Yeah, we need two more, two more hits from the Yarik. I cannot believe I lost this one. So we have 42 health. We have 25 health. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, this is crazy that the, uh, this team didn't manage to do this. So we are going to play this one more time, of course. And yeah, this is crazy. I think I should have played this way better. But if we already make a requirement to play without summons, we can actually play with this, the, the Celestine, right? Oh, this is crazy. It's missing like one, 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 one hit. And I could use the spells, I think I, I could. This requirement was only about the energy attacks, so I think I could use the spells.
Immobile is dead and yeah. I think I screwed up because I I I mis I was mistaken so I wanted to make two requirement at once when I didn't have to do this. But I was this was also unlucky that this one critical damage from the useless Imperial Guardsman killed my unit. Normally the, the, the Marine like Brother Bochard could be able to kill one thousand of the Imperial Guardsmen. Uh yeah. So it was my mistake, so sorry. So right now we have battle number seven and we have to play without summons. So we cannot use... Uh, we can use all of these guys except for Morwen. So we can use Tadeusz Noble and it should be totally fine, I guess. So we can just check what is the, the range of, of their attacks. And we can wait for them. So I have to put Tadeus in the back. I do realize that the Terminators exactly will go for them, but... Yeah, we play without summons, so we play without summons. Okay, so this is the high time to use this ability, and we can also use this one and this one to make them. If you put the area in, uh, if you put area in the fire, then the enemies will have to take one more turn to go through it, and if one is standing on it, the other one will block. So basically, I would hugely, highly recommend um, this strategy. Uh, yeah. I put I pushed slightly too far in the front, but it does not matter. We will go back and yeah. make up this mistake. Okay, so it's becoming to be more and more dangerous. Okay. Okay, so we did it. Uh, we made requirement without no making summons. And we received under 65 points, so we can just check how much do we have right now. And we are still missing 250. Okay, so we, we marked out the battle number 7. Okay, we have 5% uh, of the battery. So guys, I will come back to you. I just make to, I have to make sure that uh, my battery, my, my, my phone battery is is higher and we will go back to it today and I will upload full walkthrough uh, like maybe within um, three or four hours so we'll make last single cut <laughs> 